pretend to be a Star Wars fan here, that would be Christian. I was always more of a Trekkie. But I do know that Princess Leia did not run around with Luke's lightsaber like I just did. I'm no nerf herder. Is that right? <laughs> Anyways, in the spirit of Star Wars, I thought I would make my own rendition of the blue milk from Tatooine, aka Bantha milk. I do not want to know how they got that milk. My blue milk is vegan and uses no artificial dyes. So while this is a Star Wars themed episode, you can take this blue dye and use it year round to dye anything you want blue, from the icings of cupcakes to the cupcakes themselves. Now most other colors can be created pretty easily using natural sources. Beets for red, carrots for orange, turmeric for yellow, spinach for green, blueberries for purple, but what about blue? It is time to witness the power of this fully operational recipe. Start by roughly chopping up about half a head of red cabbage. Fill a pot with your cabbage shreds and then add just enough water to cover the cabbage. Bring the water to a light boil and then allow it to simmer for about 10 minutes on low. Then over a large mixing bowl, strain out the water from your boiled cabbage. It should be a very dark and vibrant purple. I put a towel down because the cabbage will stain your work surface, especially if it's wooden, so I recommend doing this over the sink. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Blue Tatooine milk is not purple. It's blue. Now for the amazing science part. Pour a little bit of your dark purple water into a smaller cup and add a pinch of baking soda. Soda, not powder. You don't need much, so start with less and then add a little bit more if you need as you go. As soon as you begin to stir, you'll notice it almost immediately begins to take on a blue hue. Amazing, right? Let's watch that once more. We use baking soda because of its alkaline quality and because you only need a pinch, it will not affect the taste. Allow your water to cool slightly and then you can slowly incorporate it into your milk of choice. Today I am using almond milk. Adjust to your preference, but I found that today about 10 spoonfuls gave me the perfect Bantha blue milk color I was going for. A note! It is very important that you cool your water completely if you want to dye the batter of a baked good. So if you want to dye the actual cupcakes blue, make sure that the water is 100% cooled. Put it in the fridge if you have to overnight. You do not want it even a little bit warm. Otherwise, the batter will turn green when it bakes because of the alkaline quality. If you are dyeing something that does not need to be baked though, like icing or this blue milk, it is not essential that it is completely cool. It's fine if it's a little bit warm, it will stay blue. I am enjoying my Bantha Blue Milk with these dairy and gluten-free and flourless peanut butter chocolate chip cookies. And today, instead of re-showing you the dye that I just showed you in the PDF that is available for download here or in the description box below for my mobile friends, actually gives a bonus recipe instead, these five ingredient chocolate chip cookies. They are fantastic, so be sure to download it right here or you can check out that recipe on mindovermunch.com. And there you have it, blue milk from Tatooine with no artificial dyes, only natural ingredients. Plus, you learned a little science. So this May 4th, while you're lamenting over the prequel trilogy, overanalyzing the newest trailer, or arguing over who shot first, whatever that means, you'd have to ask Christian, <laughs> you can enjoy this healthified, all natural Star Wars treat. And even if you're not a Star Wars fan, you've got some blue dye. May the 4th be with you, and remember, it's all a matter of mind over munch. or in the description box. The PDF that is available for download here. Is that right? <laughs> I said it all correctly?